Shiloh's dark and bloody ground, the dead and wounded lay. Amongst them was a drummer boy that beat the drum that day. A wounded soldier raised him up, his drum was by his side. He clapped his hand and raised his eyes and prayed before he died. Look down upon the battlefield, O thou, our heavenly friend. Have mercy on our sinful souls, the soldiers cried, Amen. For gathered round a little group, each brave man knelt and cried. They listened to the drummer boy who prayed before he died. O mother, said the dying boy, look down from heaven on me. Receive me to thy fond embrace, O take me home to thee. I've loved my country as my God, to serve them both I've tried. He smiled, shook hands, death seized the boy, who prayed before he died. Each soldier wept, then like a child, start hearts were they and brave. They wrote upon a simple board these words, This is a guide to those who mourn the drummer boy who prayed before he died. Harwell 77 Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth upon this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we have engaged in a great civil war testing whether the nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We are met to dedicate a portion of it as a final resting place of those who gave their lives that the nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men living and dead who struggled here have consecrated it far above our power to add or detract. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living, rather to be dedicated here to the unfinished work that they have thus far so nobly carried on. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us that from these honored dead, we take increased devotion to the cause for which they here gave the last full measure of devotion, that we are highly res resolved that the dead shall not have died in vain, that the nation shall, under God, have a new birth of freedom, and that the government of the people, by the people, and for the people, shall not perish from the earth.